Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Green from Advanced Dermatology and Laser Institute of Seattle. Today we wanted to talk about scarring that follows acne. The main reason we treat acne in our clinic, and as is the case for all dermatologists, is the prevention of scars. But sometimes patients will develop scars in the skin, and we need to have a good strategy in bringing those problems to a complete halt before a severe level of acne scarring occurs. There are different kinds of acne scars. First type is one related to the skin hue of the skin. Some of our patients who come from communities of color, brown skin, black skin, are at greater risk for developing in association with inflammatory acne, what is referred to as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It's probably the most common problem we'll see in that patient demographic. However, if there's a lot of inflammation in the skin associated with acne, it can damage the collagen in the skin, the basic structural building block of our skin, and patients can present with various types of depressed scars. Some patients will present with what's referred to as ice pick scars, Others will present with rolling shoulder scars, and then another group will present with boxcar scars. All three of these depressed scars are very difficult to treat, and once we get a patient's inflammatory acne under complete control, then it's time to get going and start treating the scars as soon as possible. Here at Advanced Dermatology and Laser Institute of Seattle, we have many tools in our toolbox to utilize for safe and effective treatment. Our patient who we are treating today has all types of scars from his previously treated acne. This is a case that will benefit from lasers and from certain injectable treatments and another treatment approach called subcision. And I just wanted to go through all these techniques. Our first laser that we're using in this case is a vascular laser. The one we're using today is called the XLV laser. In our hands and our practice, highly effective in reducing redness in the skin and many acne scars that patients present, whether they're flat or depressed or elevated, will oftentimes have a red component and we're able to successfully reduce that redness with the XLV laser. Secondly, we'll do treatment with a resurfacing laser, and in our practice we use the uh, Sinusure Icon, specifically the 1540 wavelength handpiece, both the XD and the XF tips, to stimulate new collagen to help in remodeling the skin. Then we will numb the skin using nerve blocks where appropriate in areas where there are depressed scars, and we will do uh, the technique of subcision. What we've learned is that many depressed scars in, uh, associated with acne will have adhesions underlying those depressions which interfere with good healing that might benefit with just laser treatments or collagen induction therapy modalities using energy. So by breaking up these adhesions underneath these depressed scars, then the these depressed scars can lift up when we're stimulating collagen, and that's been highly effective in our practice, and many of our patients will really benefit from that. And then today, in different areas, we're wanting to compare and contrast different collagen induction injectable fillers two products that we have found especially effective and useful we're using today for our patient. First is Radius. This product is a great biostimulator of collagen. It actually contains calcium, which is a biostimulator. And then in other areas, we're using poly lactic acid or Sculptra. Also is very effective at stimulating new collagen production. And then finally, for ray scars, we'll actually inject those scars with a potent corticosteroid product such as Kenalog, also known as Triamcinolone. If you have concerns about acne scars or would like to come and have a consultation in our acne scar clinic, 
please feel free and welcome to make an appointment here at Advanced Dermatology and Laser Institute of Seattle and let us weigh in on the modern day options to help you decide what good treatments make sense and are most effective for your specific type of scar condition.